I, after reading Mystic's Musings and hearing about your encountered with encounters with disembodied beings and, you know, things that sound like they're in a fairy tale, I'm very interested and curious if one, you know, your thoughts on extraterrestrial life and if you've been in contact with any. Or maybe you are one, who knows? Maybe, you are one. <laughs> maybe that is a better question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Am I looking extra terror still? Yes. I'm a little extra on the terror right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a reputation uh, of being very logically correct, which is important in this world today, mm. though it's quite silly and limiting. So I don't want to destroy that reputation on your show for myself, <laughs> but if you want to explore such things, we have now, just now recently created what's called an exclusive, Sadhguru exclusive. This is to explore those dimensions which don't fit into your logic. Because right now, most human beings are being constipated by their own logic. Logic is a wonderful thing to survive, to understand the physical nature. Because for logic you need two, as we just said, it needs masculine, feminine, it's light, darkness. Two polarities are needed for logic, otherwise there's no logic. But there are dimensions which don't belong to these polarities. Mm -hmm. Those dimensions cannot be explored in a logical way. Mm -hmm. If you're really keen on these things, then you must come, we'll put you through the works. But if I logically answer this question, uh, that will be very cosmetic. It doesn't really get to the heart of the matter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I'm just telling you, you are a ghost with a body, mm -hmm. so just for your information. Mm -hmm. The moment you lose your body, everybody thinks you're a ghost <laughs> All I did was, I gathered this material from the earth, took a loan from Mother Earth, I paid back my loan, so everybody sees I'm a ghost, what to do? You pay back your bank loan, people say, this is a problem in the United States. People are telling me, Sadhguru, you have no credit, uh, what is that? Credit score. Huh? I don't have any credit worthiness. I said, why? He said, you've never taken a loan. I said, isn't it a good thing i never taken a loan? <laughs> he said, no, no, you're no good in America because you have no credit worthiness. Mm -hmm. So this is just like that. Mm -hmm. If you pay back the loan, you become a ghost. <laughs> now, I'm a ghost in the financial circuits of America because I have no credit footprint anymore. <laughs> I think why we get along very well is because we have a similar desire of on the spiritual path of self-realization. And if we are ghosts with a body, we want to come to know that experientially for ourselves. And so, yeah, I humbly ask, uh, how? How can we come to know that? Is it a matter of raising our energies to a certain level to then experience that? Or what would that be? Yes, above all, see, as I said, uh, what spirituality, the first question she asked, what spirituality means is, mm -hmm. your experience of life is beyond your physiological and psychological processes. That means your experience, your ghostliness. We can call it your spirit, all right? We can call it your spirit, we can call it uh, whatever you want, but there's just vocabulary. Essentially, you're experiencing something beyond your physical nature. Mm -hmm. That's the important thing. And anyway, uh, this is some unsolicited advice I'm giving you. It's up to you what you do with that. Mm -hmm. You wearing rings on your thumbs is a very wrong thing to do. Mm. Metal on your thumb will bring that kind of energies to you that you cannot handle. Mm. You should not put metal on your thumbs. Mm. Mm. And so when you say it brings energy to you... That, that you means can... maximum you can only wear eight rings. Uh -huh. <laughs> Otherwise you can go the Indian way and add another eight to the toes. <laughs> there also you must leave the big one. Mm. This is everything that Andre's actually told me. He's like, uh, I learned from uh, Sadhguru not to wear thumb rings and I'm like, ah! 
that's fine. But it hits slightly different when the man himself uh, <laughs> shares it with me. <laughs> um, all right. Well, with that being said, I'm just going to take these off real quick. <laughs> And... Yeah, I'm making her less expensive for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sadhguru. <laughs> Two rings less, Two rings you're less. to buy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you had a very interesting question.